And we're learning more tonight about a major boost to Rhode Island's economy. Two large events are luring tens of thousands to the state this week. I would assume reporter Brian Yocono has the new details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. With an influx of more than 20,000 people and a projected economic impact of more than $16 million, this is the kind of weekend business owners prepare for. For Albie's place in Kingston, this could be a very good weekend for business. All these businesses definitely hope for it, and we, we do end up getting a lot of the people coming in. After all, just a short distance away is the 2014 Youth Soccer Region 1 East Championships. The six-day competition draws teams from West Virginia to Maine. In all, 13,000 people are expected. Mentally and physically, I guess you would have to prep for it because uh, you, you, you never know what's going to show up at the door. And uh, when, it, when it does turn out to be big, you kind of want to be prepared. And this is just one of two sizable gatherings this weekend. At the Rhode Island Convention Center and Dunkin Donuts Center in Providence, 4,600 people are in town for the Unitarian Universalist Association's 53rd General Assembly. Kristen Adamo with the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau says the doubling up of events is unusual, but the $16 million economic impact is a conservative estimate. We look at just direct spending, so people going out into restaurants and people staying in hotels and um, food and beverages the convention center and things like that. The Convention and Visitors Bureau hopes that more local people with their own connections to national organizations will help attract even more business to the state. With the Mobile Newsroom, Brian Nicono, Eyewitness News.